Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus love reading. As always, as a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every single person 100%. You know the drill, so let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Taurus? In love, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Forgiving and learning as you heal and release the past. I read that backwards, but uh, you experience more love in your present moments. Forgiving and learning. I feel like for some of you, this could be new energy. Let's see. I'm using the vice versa tarot. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box. Messages for Taurus, please. What messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? In love. Oh, we got the world and the five of pentacles, new cycles, which this has been kind of a running theme for Taurus lately. A lot of you are closing chapters and starting new ones completely. Yeah. And there's the death card. Exactly. Uh, Scorpio energy with death. This is all about change, transitions, transformation, some of you are dealing with some sort of difficulty, either you or your person with this five of pentacles. This could be financial stability, but this card is all about uh, needing help or having some sort of struggle. Um, so let's see what this is all about. Tell me about the world. This is, these two kind of wanted to come out here. What's this? Queen of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. Okay, I feel like that message is for some of you. I feel like you were with in a situation with another person where it wasn't working. I feel like with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, um, I, you know, I saw them both reverse and I thought this is not a good pair. And I don't mean that like in a, like, you know, n negative traits or something like that. It's just something about how like it wasn't vibing to, like working together so let's see what is this world about spare why is the world here and first reverse so something wasn't growing manifesting got the nine of swords yes worry anxiety something wasn't working yeah queen of swords reverse you could have even been, um, I inst um, this isn't what this card really means, but I thought of, of deception and I also thought self-deception. So it's almost like, um, I feel like for a lot of Tauruses, this was a truth that took a, a while to, to get to you because I think there was something that wasn't clear to you. Um, or maybe you weren't looking at the truth of something. Why is this Queen of Swords reversed here? Let me see if I'm right about that. Why is the Queen of Swords reverse here for Taurus? Ten of Swords. So I feel like this led to a, an ending here is what I'm getting. Have the Five of Swords at the top. You could have been dealing with someone difficult, maybe having conflicts with a certain person. There's a Queen of Wands reversed again. Queen of Wands reversed tends to be kind of an attention hog. Um, they don't really think of the consequences of their actions. They want what they want. And, you know, it's like, who cares what happens? You know, who cares who I inconvenience or disappoint or hurt? But I'm getting this energy also of someone who maybe didn't know the truth of something. Um, and that's whether, you know, whether somebody was lying to you, betraying you, or whether you were lying to yourself. I feel like it led to some sort of ending and now you're ready for a new beginning here with the world. 
some sort of cycle ending for sure. Now, if this is in you, this could be your person as well. So what's this Five of Pentacles about? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, we got the Five of Swords again. Yeah, there was some sort of conflict and it led to some sort of loss or difficulty. Okay, we got, I think this is the King, King of Swords. No, interesting, I have the King of Swords upright and the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you like figuring it out. Seeing something, having clarity. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, yes. Uh, okay, I just heard focus. So I feel like there was some sort of focus that you got about the past. Five of Cups. Two fives, five, three fives. The fives are all about challenges, obstacles, difficulty. Have the Eight of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like a lot of you are moving forward or there could be some sort of communication coming in that grants you uh, clarity. Interesting too is that I have the Nine of, of Cups here. So I feel like no matter what the difficulty is, there's some sort of wish being granted or fulfilled. What's this Nine of Cups? Okay, there's the Eight of Wands. That one, okay. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. I feel like this might be in the form of, of communication or movement here. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. The Sun Reverse. Five of Wands, we have the fourth, you have all fives, but it's reversed. So it's almost like, um, interesting. I feel, I feel like you, one person's going to be happy and satisfied and the other person is going to be sad with the sun reversed or disappointed. But the fighting is over. Can you get some more clarity on this? Get some more clarity on this, please. I'm seeing someone that it's like after the fighting is over, one person's happy. Yeah, nine of pentacles. So I feel like someone's free of something. I have the four of cups and then the bottom of the deck, the queen of pentacles reverse. It's like someone's no longer interested in something. And look at this picture. It looks like someone's literally on a ship leaving. Kind of like this honeymoon. Nine of Pentacles. Um, freedom, independence, security. And then I have the Nine of Cups. Okay. Tell me about death. Why is death here? What's this death part about? Six of Swords Reverse, what's death about? Oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. And it fell upright. Yeah. Interesting. Two of Cups here. Tell me more about death. No. Let get one more about the death card for Taurus. Knight of Wands reverse. Okay, so. Hmm. I can't pick this up. <laughs> okay, let me move this down. I can't pick that card up for some reason. The Six of Swords reverse. This is about some, yeah, this is a card about um, delayed departure or a return of some sort. And then the Knight of Wands reverse. Um, so I'm, I'm picking up someone that cannot move here. And then I have the Two of Cups. This is regarding a partnership. So I feel like someone um, maybe wants to make a move here but can't. It could be because of a partnership or it could be in an actual partnership. Why is the Two of Cups here? Two 
Ten of Wands. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, there's like a like a burden here, a weight. Um, so what I'm getting is there, there might be some sort of obligation that keeps you from moving forward or keeps someone else from moving forward. It's delaying a new beginning. I feel like it's some sort of partnership here. Knight of Cups reverse. So I feel like this is someone that... Um, wow. We have the Hermit reverse Virgo energy. So I feel like this is someone who is... Um, needing to express their emotions but isn't um so i'm getting a few messages here i feel like some of you um are dealing with a situation where you are ready to make a move here you or another person but you're prevented from doing so because there's some sort of burden responsibility obligation and i feel like this is putting kind of like a a delay a stop in this new cycle um this new cycle i feel cannot start unless there's this wrap up of the old cycle unless someone is here free to go after what they truly want you know i feel these two are connected this nine of pentacles with this nine of cups i feel like someone um needs to be independent secure free to go after what they truly want to go after here make a wish come true tell me about this person that taurus is dealing with what are they um thinking or feeling about taurus i need more time yes i feel like there's delays here so I don't know, some of you are dealing with the person that you are with or just recently left. And some of you are dealing with someone that I feel has caught romance. Oh no, I don't want to lose you here. So I feel like this is someone that is um, not wanting to, well, I mean, it could still, it could still be, um, I feel like, okay, so let me just gather my thoughts here. Some of you Taurus, um, Taurus viewers, I guess I should say, um, some of you, I feel, are dealing with someone that you recently have left or you're still with. This person doesn't want to lose you and they're delaying your departure. They don't want you to leave or be single or be free or whatnot, I feel, because they want to be with you. And then others of you, I feel like you've caught someone's eye. But you need to be free in order to, um, you need to be free or they need to be free in order to make this work. So I am feeling like there's, you know, two groups of people here. I'm struggling. Again, I feel like that could be either, either or, either person. Any guidance for my Taurus? I have my seller guidance oracle deck here. This is available if you'd like to get your own deck. Spirit, any guidance or advice for Taurus? Any guidance or advice for Taurus? Communicate openly. You are on the right path. Okay. The Eight of Wands is very important. Your wish will be granted. Yes, just as I was saying that, I feel like there is um, this wish being granted is you're on the right path to getting your wish granted. And I feel like there's some sort of communication that's going to like come in here or some sort of move that you're going to make with the Eight of Wands. But I feel like your wish is going to be granted, Taurus, which is awesome. And I, I think for the Taurus that I'm reading, um, you already know what it is that you want. Some of you want this person back from the past. Some of you want this new person. Some of you just want to be single and free and focus on yourself. And I feel like you're going to have your, you know, that's you're on the right path to having that whatever it is that you're wanting here. 
All right, Taurus, I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings, and I'll see you on another reading very soon. Take care.